I feel like there was something I forgot to do last week. Yeah. Dog, Tom, who are you? What's up my Whovian homies? I am the Doctor Who Kid and today we are reviewing Praxias! A US naval submarine goes missing off the coast of Madagascar. An astronaut vanishes after crash landing. Birds are acting mysterious in Peru. What is connecting these three separate events? Let's find out, shall we? So, like I said, this episode begins with a national crash landing somewhere, and this police guy, who's, who's not ex-policeman, he's on a sabbatical, gets a phone call from the astronaut, which sends him to Hong Kong, where he has an encounter with Yaz and Graham, and who go to this mysterious facility where they find the astronaut, and a bunch of alien soldier dudes. Meanwhile, in Peru, these two tra well-traveling vloggers are camping by this river that's just utterly filled with pollution. And then one of them wanders out into the night, because that's a logical thing to do in a Doctor Who episode. And then mysteriously vanishes, and the other vlogger has an encounter with Ryan. And then when she starts like doing the pat-down search to check if he's not holding any hostile weapons, she starts feeling his chest and is like, ooh, you work out. And I'm like, god damn it, Ryan is flirting with everybody this season. So they go to this place that's like a mile away where they find the other vlogger who's got all these weird toothy looking marks across her face. Meanwhile, in Madagascar, uh, these two science people are doing experiments in places when suddenly Jodie Whittaker is running across the beach trying to help an injured man. Hey, it's like Broadchurch all over again. And they pull the injured man out of the ocean. Then he's this American dude from a submarine that's vanished. He's got the toothy marks along it too. And then suddenly he's all like, he completely coded in the toothy marks and then he explodes. So the other vlogger lady also explodes. Oh, I wanted a reunion. And, and then everybody meets up in the TARDIS and heads back to the science lab where they can do some work on the astronaut to figure out what's wrong with him. Because he's sick! The companions have a moment of stupidity where apparently Graham, where apparently Graham and Ryan don't know what a pathogen is. Dude, I know what a pathogen is! Is that like basic high school science? Hang on, wasn't Graham married to a nurse? And he was also a cancer survivor? He should know this stuff. So eventually they do some testing. Things Ryan dissects a dead bird. It, oh yeah, the birds have been flying around and swarms do, acting all spooky and stuff. Of Ryan got his hand on a dead one in Peru. So yeah, Ryan's dissecting the dead bird and, and they discover that both the bird and the astronaut have this weird virus in their system, which is the thing that's causing all the toothy mark-like stuff. It's an alien virus called Praxius that manifests through plastic. It's in the birds because the birds have been eating plastic from river pollution. Hmm, I smell another message in here. And how did it possibly get into humans because humans don't eat plastic? Apparently, we do! Microplastics, tiny particles of plastic that haven't broken down and that are somehow making their way into our drinking water and even our food. <laughs> Come on, that can't be a real thing. Oh my god, it's a real thing! So then the birds start acting aggressive, swarm one of the science guys, and I'm just like, damn, that's like Alfred Hitchcock level crap. And then the other science lady turns out to be an alien! who's also infected with Praxius. And she was the one who brought Praxius to Earth in the first place as a way to figure out how to study it because it decimated her planet and Earth is so full of plastic that it was the perfect testing grounds. So eventually they find themselves on this alien spaceship that's underneath the ocean where it's like all full of plastic. They have a confrontation. The Doctor seems to manage to the poor Steven Universe and convince the science lady to cooperate with her in working on a cure for Praxius because, oh yeah, they also figured out how to cure Praxius and administered it to the astronaut guy while they were in the TARDIS as a way to figure out if the cure actually works. And it seems that the Doctor's speech actually manages to convince the science lady to join with them. 
Only for her the Praxius to finally overcome her system and she explodes. Damn it! Poor timing. Poor timing. So then, luckily, the cure works. So now they have to put it in the spaceship systems, have the spaceship fly over the planet to, and administer the cure worldwide so that Praxius will no longer be on Earth. Great! Just one problem. The autopilot's busted! And now it's up to the police guy to fly it manually, potentially sacrificing himself in the process. He claims he's doing it as a way to finally avoid dodging life and taking responsibility for being a bad husband to the astronaut, because, oh yeah, they're married. And wait a minute, sacrificing yourself is not dodging life. Dying is literally dodging life. Am I the only one who sees this? And while it's all looking very sad and that the cop's going to sacrifice himself, luckily the doctor remembered that back in Into the Dalek they were able to materialize around onto an exploding spaceship to save the pilot. So they do that here, and the gay guys get to live! Doctor Who didn't bury any gays! Hooray! So, one more speech later about how we are all connected as a species, and the episode ends. Well, Praxius was a pretty good episode. A fun premise, interesting message. Could have had a bit more scenes where the Doctor was split up from the companions, because I felt that was what made the original pitch interesting in the first place. Or do an episode where the Doctor and the companions are split off, having to investigate different sides of the same mystery. That could be fun to do more of. If I feel like they got rid of that fairly quickly. Fun characters. I give Praxius 10 out of 10 best Doctor Who episode ever. Well, I am the Doctor Who Kid, and I will see you next time for... Can you hear me? No, the name of the episode is called Can You Hear Me?